once more into the fray at Motor Point Arena. A winner take all showdown between GB and Korea. And you know what? There's been plenty of iconic moments on free sports over the years with that GB crest. Think back to 2019 in Kosice. The GB men were down 3 0 halfway through that game to France. They came roaring back to stay in the top pool, winning in overtime. So being down by a couple of goals here on the goal differential, it's not impossible. No doubt about it. Here's Ji Yun. Ji Yun down the right side. Trail. Trail keeps her to the outside. And the captain will play it back. Che Ji Yun with two goals already in the competition. Rims it around for Sho Young. Sho Young will tuck it back into the corner. Chased down by Adams. Adams. Look the wrong way there as it's picked off by Zheng Ha, and Zheng Ha will play it back into the middle of the, the crease. Shot by Yun Ji. We talked about her off the top two goals and two assists and lucky number 13. A real dangerous player for head coach Kim Sang Un. Reverse now by Yi Yun. Yi Yun will play it below the goal line and straight away Sho Young under pressure. You talk about the four check, but GB has been very good on the four check and they brought that early on through Amy Headland and company. Zhang uh, across. Wakeling will get there first. Bats it up the half wall. Yun Ji will play it back. And now it will be Park Yi Yun who has one goal. Plays at my old alma mater, Ryerson University. He's also part of the Olympic squad in 2018. I'd have to look it up, but she might be the only Ryerson player to play in the Olympics. I certainly was away, a ways off from making Team Canada, that's for sure. Headland into the corner. Gale will chase it down. So Young will play it D to D. Sho Young has time and space. Yu Jung plays it around Pearson. Pearson did a good job stepping up at the blue line. And we've seen GB do that. They have had pressure. From their, from their defenders stepping up at the offensive blue line, and sometimes that can be dangerous, but it can certainly make exits difficult on the defending team. Here's Katie Henry. Henry dishes into the corner. Bloom, who's having one whale of a tournament, one of the alternate captains, plays it up off the glass. Here's Bloom. Bloom had to play forward and defense against Slovenia because of some issues. I mean, Trail had blocked a shot in that game, and did not play down the stretch, but Trail is back in the lineup this afternoon. Here's Selin. Selin gives it away. Adams stepping up. Adams with some room. Adams with the shot. It's up and over the right shoulder of in high. It careens off the glass, but Bloom will join below the goal line. Back. Oh, well, just going to make a line change there was Whiteley, or she might have kept that puck in. Yeah, too bad. It's just a bit of a collision here at the blue line. But GB doing a good job on their four check. They're really active, and their defense are stepping up on the offensive blue line when they know that they have a forward back. So that allows them to put some pressure on and try to keep pucks in. The Koreans on the other side have done the same thing. They've left their third forward high in the blue line in the middle, looking for an easy scoring chance. They did get one good scoring chance from that tactic. Chalen rims it around, redirected out by Kang Nara. Here's Trail. Trying to play it back up the wall. Ji Yun left it. He Huan will play it out front. Jackson went down, but collapsing in front smartly was Beal. Beal has had a great tournament for Great Britain as well. Here's Sho Young, back to the point. Allen might have got in the way there as the puck trickles into the corner. Katie Marsden, two assists. She's been all around the goal, though. Maybe do one this afternoon for Great Britain. Marsden calling for it up the left wing. Good entry. Tries to shoot around, show Young. Long shift for Marsden, though, and she'll scamper to the bench. But here comes the captain. Nice job by Allen. Allen trying to play it back, nearly bounced fortuitously for Headland. And Headland into the corner, loses it to Jung Ha. Jung Ha desperate to move the puck quickly along. Yi Yun up the wall, gives it away to Beth Hill. Beth Hill has been incredible. Her work rate, magnificent for head coach Mike Clancy. She'll scamper back to the blue line. Hill with a power play goal thus far in Nottingham. Here's Wakeling. Wakeling dumps it back into the corner. Uh, Yu Shang Young will play it through the middle. Zheng Ha off the skate to Si Hyun. Si Hyun all alone. Si Hyun just dumping it. And that's off the cuff of the glove of Jackson. Picked up by Hill. Hill up the right side. Nearly too many players on the ice for Korea there. Play goes on. So Young up the middle. Picked off by Hyun. And So Young will be turned back by the speedy Katie Henry. Yeah, good job from GB. They're cutting off those passes through the middle. They're coming back the other way. If they continue to do that, if Korea continue to make those pa bad passes through the middle, eventually it's going to cost them, and GB will score a goal off one of those quick rushes. 
Pearson pressuring forward there at the blue line. Again, another good example of being aggressive, wanting that puck in the offensive zone. Chopping at it there was Whiteley, but it's out through the blue paint. Here's Henry. Whiteley with four shots on goal in the competition so far. Not afraid to go to those danger areas. Here's Whiteley. Plays it back to Bloom. Bloom quickly out front to Henry. Henry trying to get there, but it was Sho Hyung. And now So Young will play it around to Yu Young. As Korea, one thing you notice early on, they don't get panicky when they get trapped in their own zone. Calm, cool, and collected a well coached group. Lone Ranger rush right now for Si Young all alone, waiting for the line change to take place. Here's Yun Ji. Yun Ji comes in to help out. Trail trying to lean against that puck, but it what squirts for up the wall for Ji Yun. Ji Yun couldn't do much with that. And it will be batted forward for Bloom. Picked off right away by Salin. Salin trying to weave in. Salin with a chance. Blockered away by Jackson. Nice move by Salin. But Jackson calm, cool, and collected going left to right and getting that blocker up, punching it away with the right hand. Yeah, really good save there because that was a good quick shot. And sometimes they catch the goalie out, but not on this occasion. Bloom made a good defensive play just a bit earlier in that shift where she came back through the middle. She covered the player that came off the Korean bench who was moving through the middle for a scoring opportunity. Bloom came across and did the job defensively as a winger coming back across the other way. Icing call against Great Britain. Amy Headland, we're talking about the face-offs and, and Korea leading the tournament, but Amy Headland 70% in the dot for GB, so she could be busy. It will be Henry taking this draw. Park Jung Ha is almost 71% in the dot for Korea, so we've got some of the top face-off players in the tournament in this game. Bloom chasing it up the wall, kept in by Sho Young. Bounces for Hee-Wan. He won with a goal and two assists thus far. Trying to find the trailer. Comes back to the point. Good high shot by Yi Yun. Goes to the left of Jackson. Not sure she saw it, but there was plenty of traffic in front, and the puck did not get through. He won with one hand on the stick. Bats it backwards to Yi Yun. Whiteley forces her to the outside. Adams, who's skating very well to start this first period. Adams to Bloom. Bloom. Hee-Wan pressed forward on Bloom. Aggressive there from Hee-Wan and company. Maybe changing tactics a little bit to pressure in the neutral zone. Here's Adams, though. Adams into the corner. Gets there first to Saffron Allen. The captain with two points thus far. A goal and an assist. Lost an edge. yun -ji happy to wheel away. Leading, tied for the tournament lead in points with four is Lee yun -ji. Two goals and two assists. Here's Adams. Adams up the middle. Nice pass there, tape to tape to Gale. Marsden out wide, Gale going to the front of the net. Marsden shot, came off the defender, Sho Hyung. Pinching off, in off the, po or the point is Hill. And Hill trying to pull, cue it along. Hill instead will play it back, here's Headland. Headland turning and firing, dangerous pass by Headland. Knocked forward by Young Ha, and it will be chased down by Hutchinson, but that, well, is there, is there too many men on the ice? Or too many players on the ice, rather. Yeah, they're trying to get the change off the icing, and the linesman's having none of it. Murph just keeping an eye on things. Good job from the linesman, not letting any rested players get on the ice. So if GB can line up quick with some, you see they're trying to line up really quick. They see the opposition is tired, so it's always a smart move to get out there, get down quickly, don't give the opposition time to rest if they've been out there a minute and plus. I thought Veronica Lovenshow had also made the symbol of the five fingers and the one up, but it was not. She was trying to maybe say, Get back out here. Certainly you can't change on the icing if you're new to hockey. And Eagle Eyes, Paul Eighty got that right away. Maybe she was saying Kang Si Hyun, number five, had to get back out there. She is out there pressuring, and Henry plays the puck through the middle. Whiteley couldn't get it to settle down. Bloom to the outside. Bloom with a quick pass through the middle, looking for Henry. Bloom follows it up. Bloom with the cutback. Lovely move. Bloom with the shot just trickles wide. Didn't miss by much to the right of Yang in high. Henry barrels into the defender, Che Lin. The referee, Hannah Auberg, says play on. Yo Jung down the left side around trail. Played it back to the trailer, but unfortunately for her, it's Whiteley. Whiteley rumbles down the left side. Dumps it into the left of Yang in high. And it will be picked up by Park Yi Yun, the Ryerson alumnus. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you're right about the composure of Korea in their end of the ice. They don't panic too much, and the, 
you know, they close the gap quickly and, and they don't panic when they have the puck along the boards. They make some good plays. So they're quite composed coming out of their defensive zone. But GB have done a good job on the four check and they keep after them. Beal throws it in front looking for Allen. Allen's alone in front. Allen with the shot turned aside. Zhang in high with the best save of the game so far. As the captain, Saffron Allen, was alone. GB are going to take a penalty. Louise Adams lowered the boom on Zhang si Yun, And it will be a power play coming up for Korea. We'll step aside for a quick break on Free Sports. Power play coming up for Korea after this quick break. He won with the shot, it's kicked out, it's gonna to bounce to the half wall, and it's picked up by Zhang Ah. Zhang Ah will play it back in wide, or in deep rather, and it's pushed forward by Yun Ha. And this is a power play that ticks over at 33.3%. GB have been excellent on the penalty kill, killing off all seven power plays they have faced thus far. On the point now, He Won, He Won winds up. Redirect by Si Hyun. It is the penalty to Adams, of course, was interference. She lowered the boom on Si Hyun. Here's a shot. Doesn't get through. Actually hit Si Hyun in front. And now backtracking is Park Che Lin as we're down to a minute remaining in the penalty to Louise Adams. Job done by the penalty killers so far. Look at the aggressive penalty killing from Gale. Gale down the left side. Gale. Killing off an extra few seconds all by herself. We'll dump it all the way down to Beth Hill. Sublime. Excellent work from Gale. Gale proving to be a thorn in the side of Zheng Ha on this shift. Past the halfway mark of the first period. 9.15 remaining in the opening period. Korea and GB scoreless. 30 seconds remaining on Adams' interference penalty. Here's Yun Ji. Selin gives it away. Wakeling jumps up into the play. Wakeling with a shot. Trying to get in on top of in high and a face off deep for Great Britain. Well, Korea continues to make some risky passes through the middle of the ice and GB have taken advantage of that and have moved down, got some good shots on net, but a great job on the PK so far from GB. Well set up, well organized in the neutral zone, putting pressure on at the right time and in the defensive zone, getting into those shooting lanes, keeping things very compact, protecting the middle of the ice, Murph. Saffron Allen wins the faceoff. She's had the best scoring chance on either side of the puck, and it was a big stop from Zhang in high, the 16-year-old netminder. Here's the captain. Che ji through the middle, hounded by Allen. yun Ji turned the wrong way. Hill says thank you very much, down to one second remaining, and Adams is out of the penalty box. That's eight power plays against in Nottingham for GB and they've killed off all eight power plays. Yeah, they've been fantastic in this tournament on the PK. They have some mobile players and you know, especially their forwards are really good at putting pressure on in the neutral zone. Marsden to Adams. Adams had Allen in front, couldn't work the puck out into the crease. Yun Ha slows things down, put it right up the middle. Another dangerous pass as Pearson had the right skate kicked out into the corner, but it will be the pressure relieved by Yu Jung. Here's Marsden. Marsden back to Hutchinson. Here's Shamney Jackson dumping and chasing. Interfered with there by Song Yun Ha, but play goes on. Sho Hyung to Shun. Nice little move trying to go around. Susanna Pearson. Pearson, though, good fight back, came right back at her. Here's Yun Ha. Yun Ha in the corner. Works her way back up the wall, and Pearson again does a real good job, and it will be Bloom. Bloom. Slides it into the corner with seven and a half remaining in a scoreless first period on free sports. GB needing a two goal clear win to advance to the final stage of Olympic qualification for Beijing in November. Here's Trail to Bloom. 
High off the glass, doesn't kick out in front of in high. It will be picked up expertly there by Salin. Scampering away is Siyun. Rolls it into the left of Nicole Jackson. Here's Lucy Beal, one goal in the competition. Some room to operate, goes up the middle. High off the body of Headland. Headland will chase it down. Chaylin will golf it around up the left side. Picked up by Hiwon. Hiwon cuts back, sends it forward to the captain, Ji Yun, and Che Ji Yun runs into Trail. Trail wasn't even looking at the puck, just looked at the chest of the opposition. Not able to dump it in deep there with Gale, and the pace is incredible so far this afternoon. Yeah, really good up and down game here, but a good job. I, I like what, the way GB are playing at their blue line. They're staying up on the blue line. They're making it tough on Korea to get in the end zone. Ji Yun back to Hee Won. Hee Won trying to thread the needle through to Nara. Kang Nara with the low shot. Patted away by Jackson. GB in a little bit of trouble in their own zone, but it will be Cartwright. Cartwright with a couple of chances, three chances to get it out, and Nara got in the way, but Ji Yun, the captain, wants to make a change, so plays it all the way back to Che Lin. I really like the way Hill's been playing in this first period, Murph. She's been great defensively, offensively. She's been gone on a few rushes. She just needs a little bit more support when she moves up the ice with the puck. Park Yi Yun to Yun Ji. Adams. Adams has really been skating well. Up the right side. Gave it away, though, to Si Hyun. Here's Marsden. Marsden up the middle. Bounces off the skate of Lee Yun Ji. Yu Yun will play it out wide to Si Hyun. Si Hyun back into the middle of the ice. Too far for Wakeling. Up the middle now, Saffron Allen. Pass behind Marsden. Marsden will dump it into the right of In High. And good quick shift there. Marsden and company imperative to keep those fresh legs out here as both teams. Maybe the two quickest teams on display here at Motor Point Arena this week. So both coaches, Clancy and sang they know they've got to keep fresh legs on the ice. Well, quick changes are going to be key, especially when you get into the third period. Now, the good thing is, you know, both for both teams, they had the day off yesterday, so they both should be pretty rested. But you're right, Murph, quick changes could be a big key going into the third period. Here's Pearson out wide. Bloom. So young. Puck between her legs. Yu Jung. Looked up and Whiteley was right in her face. Whiteley trying to kick it along to Bloom. Bloom trying to activate that puck out to Henry. Whiteley getting in the way. Bloom was knocked down in the corner and was being held there. Referee was looking the wrong way. Trail to Henry. Henry will dump it right back in. Bloom tags up. Delayed offside over. Bloom chasing down Sho Hyung. Sho Hyung makes the pass to So Jung. And now it's Trail. Trail. Lays it off on the left wing for Headland. Way too far for Headland, but look at Beal. Beal has had a magnificent tournament. Beal turned back, runs into Cartwright, and it will be Lee Yunji. Lee Yunji's got Beal all over right there as Chaylin backs up. Giveaway, Headland. Chance that puck doesn't get through as it came off the shin pads of Che Lin and in high will cover up. Yeah, good shot. Headland, quick shot to the net. Good solid wrist shot. Lucky, lucky for the Koreans that that didn't deflect in the back and the net did hit the defenseman in front, but then uh, obviously the, the save was made. But a good job from GB again. Good pressure in the offensive zone, and the Koreans do keep make they keep making the occasional risky pass through the middle of the ice. Shots on goal, 5-3. In the in-house scoring system in favor of Korea. That'll be an icing call. And they'll do it all again to the left of Zhang in high. Well, you can see the Koreans were just trying to smash that off the glass and, and then blow the zone with a couple of players, but nobody blew the zone. So puck went all the way down the ice, and uh, GB uh, looked at making a change there. Face off to the left of Zhang in high. Adams. Marsden tried to kick that along. Sho Young. To the captain, Ji Yun. The speedy Kang Nara. Nara with the wrist shot, bounced off of Hill. Hill stays with it. Puck bobbling around, and they're finding it is Kim Hee Won. Kim Hee Won all the way back to the point, forced out over the line by Saffron Allen. Here's Ji Yun. Park Ji Yun will dump it in, and Nicole Jackson will just ramp that into the corner. Here's Pearson. Pearson looking for Shamney. Jackson stepping up nicely there was Kang Si Hyun. Weaving out over the blue line. Drops it, and well, 
Shamney Jackson fearless there, ran into the much bigger Zhang Ha and bound the wing now is Marsden. Gave it away to Che Lin as Shamney Jackson was in hot pursuit. Che Lin right up the gut, up the middle, sends it out wide and Bloom will send it back again too far for Shamney Jackson and Jackson at the end of a long shift just doesn't have the gas to keep going but here she is, she will keep going. Shamney Jackson trying to get the puck in deep, just rolled off her stick to Se Lin. Se Lin who shares the tournament lead with four points with Lee Yun Ji. And Kim Se Lin, the top scoring defenseman with four points. Here's Si Hyun. Coming and finding that puck out to Yun Ji and ripping it wide. It's gonna bounce all the way back to Se Lin who we just talked about with those four points. She's dangerous on the point. And trying to get to the net was Lee Yun Ji, but Nicole Jackson's seen enough of that. Yeah, and smartly holds on, holds on to that because there's a few GB players who were tired on long shifts. Uh, Shemini Jackson has been out there for a while, but give her credit, she'd made a couple of good defensive plays coming back on the back check and on this shift and the previous shift really helping out her defense. So you can see the GB players being at the wingers being accountable and making sure they're back, helping out the defenseman. Here's Cartwright. Cartwright, have to be careful there on the wing, trying to stick handle out of your own zone. They give the puck away. So Jung with the shot, and Jackson looks that into the glove. Well, if GB can continue to, to box out, not let anybody get to the front of the net, Nicole Jackson will make those saves. Those are easy saves for her, and she does look sharp again in this game. Face off to the left of Nicole Jackson's net. And GB win the draw. Here's Trail. Casey Trail up the right wing. We talk about the pressure of GB, but certainly Korea have not made it easy for Great Britain to get out of their own zone a couple of times, especially since we got past the halfway mark of the first period. Here's Gale. Gale swings out wide. Cartwright goes to the front of the net. Gale taking on two defenders. And now it will be sent back up the wing by Headland. Bouncing puck. Gale was in front trying to take away the eyes of In High on the shot. That came from that left point from Beal. Yun Ha all alone. Yun Ha, well, need to dump the puck in deep there on the line change. Didn't, and Beal will come forward, but Ji Yun came off the bench quick as a cat and steals that puck right back, but they give it to Adams. Adams looking for Marsden. Poke check by Sho Young. Kang Nara tried to get fancy, and a great stick by Hill there with one minute remaining. Again, a great job from Hill and the defense. They continue to stay up on that blue line, and, and you can see the Koreans are trying to stick handle by them. They won't chip it by them, and as long as they keep doing that, GB can keep staying up on the blue line. Here's Adams, tucks into the corner. Allen, well, Allen sidestepped to hit. Now Allen has some room to operate. Slides it along, Adams. Adams, well, it's a bit of a wasted puck there as they had numbers between the hash marks and now a two-on-one developing. Ji Yun out wide to Kang Nara. Nara with the shot. Good stop by Nicole Jackson. Yeah, great stop. Jackson goes from right to left and just get, keeps the glove up. That's why she's able to make that save. She stays up. She doesn't go down too low. And she, she just, you'll see on the replay here when she comes across, she's got her hand nice and high and it goes right into her glove. So that is a great save from Ni Nicole Jackson. Face off to the left of Nicole Jackson's net. She's already got eight saves. Shots on goal, 8-4 in favor of Korea. Pearson, 20 seconds remaining in the first period. The last thing you want here is any chances in the dying moments from Korea. Pearson aggressively trying to work it along to Bloom. Bloom sees that Si Hyun is in her way. There's a penalty coming up. And it was touched by Korea. Let's see now what the referee, Hannah Auberg of Finland, has to say. No, it's a GB penalty. I thought Korea touched it up, but in that battle, Pearson is a little bit too over-exuberant, and a second power play for Korea. Just seven seconds remaining in the period, though. Well, the referee didn't make a single. I'm thinking some sort of delay game, maybe, is the only thing I could think along the boards. Wasn't willing to move the puck. But we'll, we'll see what the announcer says, and we'll see if we can pick that up. But uh, we didn't see any particular sign showing what the penalty was. Right now, they just want to get this seven seconds out of the way, regroup. But it will be one last chance for Chaylin. Chaylin with a rocket right on target. Right into the chest of Nicole Jackson, who looks calm and collected in that net for Great Britain. Down to two seconds remaining. It is a delay of game, as you had guessed, Paul. Susanna Pearson in the box. Chaylin 
Trying to force another shot through. Collapsing down the block. Ah, well, brave stuff there. As Morrison goes down to make a block, it will be a carryover power play of a minute and 53 seconds for Korea in period two. Shots on goal in the opening 20. Korea 10, Great Britain 4. Scoreless after 20 minutes on Free Sports. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back with plenty of intermission analysis. Angela Taylor will join us in just a few moments' time. On the docket, first order of business for Mike Clancy's side. A minute 53 remaining on a Korea power play. Pearson is off for delaying the game. A late penalty by Hurt. Shots on goal through 20 minutes. Korea 10, Great Britain 4. And right now, first order of business. A big PK, a perfect penalty kill. They've had eight power plays to deal with through their first two games in a period here. They're perfect so far. Eight penalty kills. They want a ninth. With other ideas, though, Kim Hee-won and company. Hee-won moves it quickly ahead to Jung Ah. Jung Ah, real smooth skater. Serpentines through the neutral zone. Back to Che Lin. Jung Ha, top of the circle. Back to Che Lin. One timer. Wide to the left of Jackson's goal. And Jackson just li- really looks dialed in, calm and cool, like this is her moment. Here's Jung Ha. Jung Ha with the shot, and she's being helped out by all kinds of shot blocking. There's another big stop by Jackson as she turns aside. Si Hun. And that's exactly what Angela Taylor was talking about, just dialed in and focused. Yeah, great save. Marsden blocked the shot but lost her stick. That's that's why they were able to get another uh, another shot in there. But a good job from J- uh, Nicole Jackson making the save and then the defense collapsing into forwards, collapsing down to clear that puck. And Lee Yunji tucked in 200 feet from where she'd like to be behind her own goal. The most offensively gifted player for Korea. Out wide to Ji Yun. Ji Yun to the points. Selin, four points thus far. Let's that shot fly. Kang Nara got a piece of that and sent it up and over Jackson's net. Here is Selin. Selin could not keep that puck and just skirted out over the line. Champions Hockey League action continues on Free Sports this Wednesday, October 13th. The Cardiff Devils versus Aluko Rama. 7 p.m. Check freesports.tv for all listings. Looking forward to that. I mean, Carter played really well in Finland against Luka Rama last week. Waller with a beautiful goal for the Devils on that occasion. So do join us Wednesday as Cardiff host Luka Rama, the Finnish Liga champions. Here's Kang Nara. Nara to Yunji. Back to the point to Selin. Yunji with the shot. That's a good three feet up and over the crossbar. Kareen's off the glass, up and down. Down to five seconds remaining in Pearson's penalty. Pearson is standing up. Wants to roar out of that penalty box. And the penalty is over. Pearson is out. Pearson's on the puck. Pearson is pushed over. Ji Yun knocked her over there. Gale. Gale sends the puck into the middle of the ice. Celine picks it up. Hill will keep it, albeit momentarily, as Che Lin bulls out into the neutral zone. So job number one done. For GB, they kill off a second penalty. Yeah, another great penalty kill. It, and it starts from the neutral zone play. I mean, they, they line up in a 1-2-2, a two, two, and then sometimes the second player will force, sometimes they won't, and, and they'll back up into a 1-3. So they adjust their tactics on their penalty kill in the neutral zone from uh, you know power play to power play. Allen was the only player that knew where the puck was. As that puck came back out into the blue paint, it was under the pad of Zhang in high. Kim Se-Lin thought it was in her equipment, but... Allen went in and tried to pitchfork that underneath the pad of In High, but the youngster Zhang In High held the line. It will be a face-off deep for GB. Well, it, you know it's never a bad idea to just go to the net, make things happen, get your stick in there, try to you know push one in or bang one in, try to do anything to get a goal here. They're going to have to do it. You need traffic in front. I mean, you can see the Koreans on the last power play. They came across the blue line a couple times, just threw a wrist shot in there up high, hoping that you might catch the goalie out. Hutchinson pinches in. That's going to lead to a two-on-one the other way. Another great decision there. Si Yun with a shot. Right into the crease was Ji Yun. 
And Jackson again saw the puck well, but it was back out the other side. GB had been aggressive at the offensive blue line, but you got to pick your spots on those pinches. Too many two-on-ones. Eventually, Korea is going to catch you. Yeah, eventually they'll, they'll pay for that. But Pearson did a great job in that two-on-one. She waited, waited, then came across at the last second, putting a bit of pressure on. She allowed the, uh, Nicole Jackson to take the shooter on that two-on-one. Wasn't a bad play in the end. Face off just outside the GB blue line. He won wins it all the way back to Kang Nara. Kang Nara, one assist thus far. 12th appearance in the senior jersey for Korea. Here's Pearson being chased down by He Won. Katie Henry. Katie Henry will play the puck back. Nara sent it back to He Won. Well, look at Bloom. Bloom always in the right position. Bloom turns it up ice. Right handed shot down the left wing, though. Throws on the brakes, gets the pocket picked by Ji Yun. And back the other way comes Che Ji Yun. Good entry, swings out wide on Beal. Ji Yun back to He Won. He Won with the shot. Excellent block there by Lucy Beal, and then Beal with a great stick to push it up and out over the line. Yeah, great job there. And they were under pressure a little bit, GB. That, that's how important that play was. And you can see right now, I mean, the Koreans are, are trying, you know, to get in quickly, you know, move the puck up quick, and they're just taking some quick shots here. See him with the shot. Waffle boarded away by Jackson. Good, quick right hand by the GB netminder. Here's Beal. Beal and Jung Ha, they had a pretty good battle so far this afternoon. Pearson comes in to back up. Henry was knocked over. Henry now gets back on the skates, and the puck skips to Shi Hyun. Shi Hyun. Didn't realize where Bloom was, and Bloom tries to break away down the left side as Henry goes to the bench. You don't want too many players on the ice there if your head coach Mike Clancy. They got the line change in, though. Bloom and company needed a, to get to that change. Some heavy legs on that shift at the end there. Here's Jung Ha. Jung Ha with a drag move. Looked like it was offside, but play goes on. Jung Ha knocked over by Trail. Good defensive work by Casey Trail. And Shamney Jackson flicks it to the line no further. So Jung into the corner. So Jung too far for her on the return pass. It was Sho Young picking it up and now back into her own zone. Turned back by Kolshaw. Kolshaw, good pressure there. Trail, Trail got caught flat footed and nearly wailing away was Yu Jung, but it was a bobbling puck. Trail, Trail who blocked a shot against Slovenia. Maybe not moving as well as we've seen her. What a talent she is. And Brave to give it a go today, and you can see Trail though right there, not happy with herself, but it will be gloved down by Nicole Jackson. Well, a bit of a pressure point here for GB because you can see Korea has picked it up a gear, and they're and they're playing a little bit quicker, they're playing, they're skating a little bit faster. Now GB have to react to this; they have to pick their game up to stay with the Koreans here in the second period. Murph shots on goal, Korea 12, GB five, and as good as Great Britain have been playing, Mike Clancy and the coaching staff on the home bench. We'll know that five shots, four shots in that first period, not enough to win a hockey game. They've got to start playing in front of Zhang in high. As we've got about five and change gone here in the second period, still scoreless between Great Britain and Korea. Here's Headland. Headland A frames and protects the puck well. Sends it back to Hill. Hill gets a quick shot away. It's redirected in front, but flopping down. Well, a good job in front, getting sticks on pucks, but a good job by in high. And GB, that's the right idea. Just get some traffic in front. And Cartwright, we saw Whiteley a lot in the first period as well, trying to create some havoc in front of in high. And I think that's exactly what they need to do with that 16-year-old netminder. Yeah, they, they need to get some shots in there with traffic in front. And those wrist shots from the blue line can be dangerous. It doesn't have to be the hardest shot. Just has to be on net. Chaylin looked the wrong way, and running into her was Cartwright. Cartwright nearly had a bobbling puck to swat at, but Chaylin, as we said in the first period, Korea don't panic in their own zone. Hill, he's got sidestepped there by Chaylin into the corner. And Wakeling tried to wrap her up too far for Cartwright. Now in front for Kang Nara. Little tic-tac-toe right there from Korea, but they couldn't get the shot away. He won, plays it in deep, but it will be picked up by Wakeling. Ellie Wakeling will tuck in behind her goal if you're just tuning in. GB need to win by two goals in this one to advance to the final qualification for Beijing in November. Anything else? Even a one goal loss for Korea would be enough for them to get to that next phase, that final phase. Here's Wakeling, Wakeling 
End of a long shift on her own. Plays it into the corner. Marsden comes racing in there. Puck poked away from Wakeling by So Jung. Wakeling tried to jam it back in deep, but she's at the end of a long shift and looks tired. Puck out wide to Si Hyun. Si Hyun against Adams. Adams has really been impressive in this one for Great Britain. Adams with a little cutback. Puts it up the wing to Marsden. Marsden works it on quickly to Allen. Allen's got some room to operate. Here comes the captain, Saffron Allen, just running out of real estate against So Jung. So Jung actually played that very well. Didn't worry about the puck at all. Just watched Allen and shepherd, shepherded her into the corner. And that wall behind in high. Jung Ha will skate away. Another two on one. Si Hyun. Back to Zheng Ha, trying to get down on one knee to get the shot away, but it's Yun Ji. Yun Ji out front, nobody home, all the way back to the point to Yi Yun. Yi Yun shot blocked by Mars, and Yi Yun keeps the forward momentum going. And Nicole Jackson will hold on. Uh, GB having a, a few moments now where the speed of Korea through the neutral zone. Plenty of two-on-ones for Nicole Jackson to deal with. Yeah, I mean, Marsden blocked a nice shot there, and that was a hard shot, but she took it well, and... Uh, Got in that shooting lane, but you're right, GB are getting caught on the offensive blue line. Defense are standing still on the puck side, and, and when you do that, if you don't have anyone covering for you, they're just the Koreans are getting two players behind, creating those quick two-on-ones. So, I mean, the defense can't pinch down unless there's a forward supporting high. Casey Trail played the puck up the left side. Henry intercepts a 50-50 puck there. Henry with the long-range shot up and over the hand of in high. Off the glass, Bloom couldn't get it to sit. Here's Yi Yun. Yi Yun down the right side, dishes off to Yun Ha. Yun Ha with a weak shot. Jackson tried to corral that Beal. Beal being double teamed right there, chased down by Xiun. Beal calm and collected, got it away though, and now Whiteley will give chase, but plenty of room to operate for Xiao Young. Xiao Young will curl back with 11 and a half remaining in the second period. Korea and Great Britain scoreless on free sports. Xiun poked that past Beal. Trail will get there first. Trail is hit from behind. How's that not a penalty? And coming forward with the shot after throwing a hit in the corner was Yun Ji. And I have no idea why that's not a penalty, folks. I mean, first of all, there's no body check. And here's Henry. Henry out front. Oh, what a stop by In High. Well, we're going to step aside for a quick break on free sports. It remains scoreless. We'll be back in just one minute's time. Face-off win, back to the point. Here's Hutchinson. Hutchinson will flip it into the corner. Casey Trail was hit from behind before that break. I'm still not sure why there was no call. If you're new to women's hockey, there's no body checking, and certainly in no league in the world is hitting from behind acceptable. Luckily, Trail is okay. Wheeling away now is he Wan. Jump down, Pearson will collect it. Here's Marsden. Marsden with a nice little tip pass. The speedy Chaylin was back, and Hedlund will make a change. Gale chasing down Chaylin. Little cut back into the middle of the ice. Chaylin's been very good for Korea in this one. I jinx her though there. She left the puck behind, but remains composed. Chaylin flips it along for Zhang Ah. Zhang Ah. Curls to the point, sends it across for Chaylin. Pass too far, but Chaylin uses that to just one time the puck. Good stick by Hutchinson. Hutchinson rims it around, but So Jung will keep it in at the right side. She takes a bump from Shamney Jackson. 
Wakeling to Jackson. Jackson will just flip that puck off the wall and out as Sho Hyung will chase it down. Sho Hyung with the giveaway nearly there to Harris. And Charlotte Harris out front for Sammy Jackson. She had an open goal but just got tied up. It was just in her feet and just couldn't get the blade on it. Or it might have been a tap home for the youngster Shamney Jackson. Here's Harris, rolls it in. And under pressure, Zhang and High will hold on. Yeah, I thought that was an offside there on GB, but the linesman didn't call it. But that was a great scoring opportunity. And some sloppy play from the Koreans. We haven't seen them make too many sloppy plays in their defensive zone or lose the puck like that. And they coughed it up a couple of times. A couple of good chances, the last few shifts for GB. Maybe, they're just, maybe a goal's coming here, Murph. Shots on goal, 15-6 in favor of Korea. GB need to start to get those pucks towards the goal. Beal will try and do exactly that. Gets it along to Mars, and Mars had to take it off the heel of her stick. Yi Yun trying to clear the puck. Here's Trail. Trail showing no real effects of that bump she took a few moments ago. Trail trying to walk out of the corner. Si Hyun wins the puck back, sends it along for Sho Young. Allen with the will to get in the way there and try and make things difficult for Korea. And Allen does exactly that. Sends it out wide to Marsden. Marsden into the corner. Saffron Allen goes to the front of the net. Marsden being double teamed. Keeps the puck on her stick. Takes a little bump there from Si Hyun. Beal calling for it at the right point. Allen is over on the hash mark. Song Yun Ha and Korea happy to just keep the puck. But we saw we saw GB be called for a delay of game in that exact situation at the end of period number one, but no call there against Korea. Here comes Yun Ha. Yun Ha out wide. Beal gets in the way. Followed up by Shun. Shun into the corner. Beal with that great stick. Beal trying to swat the puck away from Shun. Adams comes in to settle things down for Great Britain. Nearly too many players on the ice for Korea, but play goes on. Here's Beal. Slid it along for Trail. Trail chopping at it. It's in the feet of Jung si Yun, But it will be back to GB and up the left side. Bloom. Bloom and Beal got their wires crossed there. And Adams is turned back into the corner again. Aggressive stuff now from Ji Yun and company. 7.50 remaining in the second period. Still scoreless between Korea and Great Britain. Final game from Group F, F action. Pre-Olympic qualifiers on free sports. Here's Bloom up the right side. Celine had Bloom coming for her, but Celine calm on the puck as always. She's very impressive. Eight in the dark blue jersey. Trail and Henry leaning into Jung Si Yun. Jung Si Yun again not willing to move the puck. And the faceoff will be just outside the GB blue line. Well, one area Korea has done well in this period is their neutral zone play. In terms of their forwards, have really been creating a lot of open uh, passing lanes with their speed. They've been very active, and that's why a couple of times GB got caught on the offensive blue, uh, offensive blue line because the two forwards just basically, as soon as they saw Korea had puck possession, they just took off. And I think that's one area where, where they've given uh, GB a bit of a headache. But apart from that, GB have had the better chances in this period. They seem to be creating a little bit more, Murph. Hutchinson trying to wheel up the left side. Turned back by the captain, Che Ji Yun. Here's He Won. He Won tucks it into the corner for Kang Nara. Kang Nara trying to walk around Katie Henry. Not going to happen. Nara, though, will follow the play up into the corner. Nara to the captain. Back to the point. One timer off the shoulder of Jackson. She had to go down and then have to sprint up off the, the balls of her feet there and kind of leap into the air. She was trying to find that puck around Ji Yun. He won, gets a glove on that. That was impressive. Jackson started to go down into a stance and then had to jump up into the air to get a shoulder on that. Here's Henry. Henry around So Jung. Henry has Bloom going to the net. Good defensive play there from Sho Hyung. Just getting in the way as Henry thought there was a lane to Bloom. Shamney Jackson, tireless worker, kicks it along for Bloom, but now it'll be Lee So Jung settling things down for Korea. Jung Ha turned up. Off her skate to her stick. Poke check by Bloom. Ineffective against the speedster Zheng Ha. Zheng Ha cuts back. Wakeling was waiting for her. And now Bloom. Bloom couldn't get the puck out. Katie Henry as we hit the 14 minute mark of the second period. Henry works the puck along to Bloom. Bloom will just get a piece of that. And Zhang in high. Not sure Zhang in high. Yeah, it's been a little bit more pressure in the second period. But I'm not sure she's broken a sweat here. She's only had seven shots to deal with. 
No, well, she's had a couple of tough shots to deal with. I mean, GB had, have had a couple of really good scoring chances this period. It's too bad they don't have at least one goal. But this game reminds me of like a big final. I mean, this is the way this is being played. Good intensity. Both teams really playing a good tactical game. Headland to Hill. Hill has one goal in the tournament. Here's Gale. Gale's got Headland out front. Headland goes to the front of the net with reckless abandon. Headland calling out to Hill, telling her she has time. Hill will flip it into the corner. Headland chasing down Yi Yun. Yi Yun did a good job there under pressure. Here's Wakeling. Wakeling down the right side. 221 is battling now. Sho Young and Wakeling. Wakeling to Gale. Hit by Yi Yun. So we're down to 5.15 remaining in the second period. Still scoreless. We got game seven here. Beal with the shot. Cartwright was looking right. If she looked left, she might have got a piece of that. Turning and firing is Headland going down to block it was Park Yi Yun. Credit where it's due. They're brave defensively, Korea. Dropping down in front of those shots. Good stick there as Beal tried to keep the puck in. Beal calling out to Wakeling. Wakeling had two Korean players to deal with. And now Beal. Beal with a nice little move at her own blue line. Sends the puck forward now to Marzen. Marzen with a shot. Good quick shot from Marzen. Good stop by in high. Marzen to Allen. Marzen looking for the wraparound. Turning and throwing it into the goal mount. Just that front, Allen. Allen has an open net, but collapsing down was Yo Zhang. Looked like a glove in the crease there as well as Korea were panicking. What is Hannah Auber going to call here, if anything? But well, Saffron Allen and company so close to getting the first goal against Korea. Don't forget, folks, Korea have not conceded a goal yet at Motor Point Arena with 3 no, three nothing wins over Slovenia and a 10 nothing win over Iceland. It's a team that does not concede goals. No, I mean, uh, and good, good goaltending also there on that ship. But GB keep coming. What I liked about GB in the last few minutes is they continue they continue to drive to the net. You saw in that one point shot, three players were driving to the net, and they almost got a rebound on that one. They're really attacking the net a lot more, but here come the Koreans on a two-on-one, Murph. Another pinch down the wall there. That lets he won come down two-on-one. And another good stop by Nicole Jackson as Kang Nara tumbled into the boards with Louise Adams. But how about that chance for Saffron Elma? We'll look back at he Wan's chance. Yeah, righty down the left side. Yeah, I mean, she takes a good shot, backs the defenseman in a little bit, and uh, gets the shot through. But again, a great save from Nicole Jackson. Saffron Allen went close, but they've got to get back to defending now. And Ji Yun was alone in front. Puck never got to her, though. Allen and company feverishly trying to get the puck out. Saline couldn't keep it in. Marsden. He Wan was breathing down Marsden's neck, and now Ji Yun. Ji Yun to Chaelin. Chaelin has been skating well. Here's Chaelin. Chaelin with the shot, trying to go top shelf. Didn't miss by much up and over the left hand of Nicole Jackson. Here's Che Ji Yun. Ji Yun runs into Headland. Beal with a good stick. Not able to keep it in as Si Hyun came in over the, the boards on that line change. Park Chaelin, a member of the Olympic squad in 2018 in Pyeongchang. Bloom. Ice and call with 325 remaining. Well, you got to give credit where it's due. I mean, to have two shutouts in the first two games and to have another 20, 20, 20 minutes and another half period, or almost a full period here, rather, almost 40 minutes of shutout hockey here. This is the Korean side that doesn't panic in their own zone, and the goalkeeper does not look like a 16-year-old. There's another good stop from Zhang in high. Wakeling, Wakeling trying to send it through to Cartwright. Wakeling with the shot, Wakeling with the rebound, and again, Zhang and High makes the save. Incredible goaltending on that sequence. Yeah, Zhang and High's really, she's been coming up big here in the second period because GB have really been pushing here to keep pucks in, but also driving to the net, getting shots to the net, and everyone's just driving down. All three forwards are attacking that, which is what they need to do to try to get a goal here. But give Zhang, Zhang and High a uh, you know, she's doing a great job here for her team. I'll give GB credit as well. They had just the, the four shots in period number one. They've got seven here in the second. Starting to step up. You get the feeling that if they get one, it might just be that sort of kick on for them. But right now, it's Jackson with the save. The good-looking shot there from Yun Ha. 
As they try and go high on Jackson. Here's Sho Young shooting around Gale into the corner for Yun Ha. Yun Ha dumps it in. Yeah, it does have that feeling that if GB could get one, it might open up the dam, so to speak. The levy might break, but Korea don't look like a team that are going to let that happen. Here's Gale. Yo Jung chased down by Gale. Gale is tripped up. There's going to be a penalty coming to Korea now. And finally, GB will get their first power play of the contest with 2.24 remaining in period two. Well, Jang was smart in a neutral zone. She saw that she was going, to, going up against two, three Koreans, so she just chipped chipped the puck past them. They've been doing this a lot more in the second period, GB. Rather than trying to beat guys in the neutral zone, they've just been chicken, uh, chipping pucks ahead. And uh, on that play, eventually there's a penalty call, but GB overall have done a better job in the neutral zone managing the puck, not trying to make the perfect pass and just getting pucks in deep and creating that four-check pressure. So Ji Yun in the penalty box. Great Britain, four for eight in the tournament so far on the power play, 50%. Korea, well, they haven't conceded a goal in any which way, shape, or form, so they've been perfect on the penalty kill. Six penalty kills so far for Korea. Beal's shot turned aside by Zhang in high. Here's Allen. Saffron Allen has a power play goal in the tournament. Beal back to Marsden. Marsden out wide. Quick shot, trail off the outside of the net. Adams looking for a rebound, as is Allen. Allen said her stick was held. Play goes on. Here's Marsden. Marsden with a shot. Adams with the redirect, and that's going to come up into the mesh behind in high. Yeah, good play there from Marsden. You know, with the re looking for, she saw Adams was all alone in the slot area, went for the redirect like you just said. So, I mean, they're setting up well in the 1-3-1 here, GB. Moving the puck around well. Just got to get some traffic in front as soon as that shot comes in. Adams, an important offensive zone faceoff. 150 to go in the second. 126 of that will be on the five on four. Adams will dig in against Park Jung-ha. Jung-ha was one of the captains of the 2018 Olympic team for Korea, such as the level of competition. Not sure what the coaching staff led by Kim Sang-un is unhappy with on that bench. Well, I think they're getting a warning right now from the referee because they changed late and someone went back to the bench. Really, that's a delay game penalty, but the referee's giving them a warning. Next time, they'll certainly get a penalty for that. Hanna Arberg of Finland making things clear on the Korean bench. Adams will dig in for GB, wins the faceoff. Here's Trail to Marsden. Four forwards on the power play for head coach Clancy. Big shot off the outside of the net from Trail, and we've seen that big shot from that spot earlier in the competition. She got a big power play goal against Iceland, of course. Here's Beal. Beal into the middle of the ice. Adams trying to get that away quickly. Rolls into the corner. Allen will claw back in behind the goal. Here's Trail. Trail to Marsden. Beal off the skate. Beal. Quick shot by Adams. Turned aside by in high. Beal stays with it. Adams shooting from everywhere now. That's blocked by Che Lin. Marsden will keep it in. Marsden with a shot. That's blocked perfectly by Zhang Ha. Morrison keeps the composure, slides it along for Adams. Adams with the shot, scores! Adams, oh my goodness! Louise Adams, power play goal! one nothing GB, that's the one they needed! Well, what a great play on the power play. GB moved the puck around really well. Morrison did a good job. She didn't panic along the wall. Held on to the puck and eventually spotted Adams who walked in for a shot. Went off the post and in. That's about the only way they were going to score in this one. What a big goal for GB. Getting the first goal, taking a 1-0 lead. Well, we said it in period one. Louise Adams was dialed in. The eye of the tiger, or is it the lioness roar? You pick. And what a shot. They finally break through. That's their fifth power play goal of the competition. Over 50% on the power play. Shots on goal, 17-14 in favor of Korea. But in this period, GB out shooting Korea 10-7. And with a minute remaining, that's a huge goal. They need a two-goal lead. They've got one in the bank. Here's Pearson. Moves it along to Cartwright. Now, Gale. Let's see if that theory, that one might open up the whole game. Here's Headland. Headland streaking in, trying to find that loose puck. Cartwright, Cartwright back into the middle of the ice for Gale. Gale trying to rumble in there, but Zhang and Hai will hold on with 33.6 seconds remaining on the board. Again, good pressure from GB. 
And, and you can see right now the Koreans are a little bit worried by, by the way they're playing. And you can see the shot comes in and the goal here. This is a great power play from GB. Just love the movement and the passing and the composure on the puck. I mean, that was so well executed. They control uh, uh, the puck, the whole, uh, whole power play, and eventually it's in the back of the net, Murph. And what do we always say when you're, especially if you're the favorite, perhaps you never want to concede in the first or last minute of the period, and that's a big goal for Korea to give up in the last minute. Louise Adams, her first. Marsden with her third assist. I mean, Marsden has been playing out of her skin for GB. Another big power play point. Ten seconds remaining in the second period. Bloom jabs it along for the aforementioned Marsden. Sho Young into the corner. Korea just want to eat the puck and get into the intermission and that will do it as 40 minutes are in the books listen to the roar of the crowd at motor point arena over 1500 over on that side behind the gb bench a standing ovation for louise adams and company they're up one nothing over korea group f action pre-olympic qualifiers they need to win by two to go through to the final round don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back after this short break. Second intermission analysis coming up with Paul Lady and Angela Taylor. Join us in a few moments' time. Well, has there been a bigger third period for the GB women's program in the last five or six years? I don't think so. This is for a spot to stay in contention for Beijing. The final Olympic qualifiers in November. Great Britain have one goal on the board. They need to win by two. It was Louise Adams, her first of the competition. Marsden with her third assist, a power play goal for GB. Shots on goal 17-16 in favor of Korea. Big hit. How is that? Not a penalty. It will be. She thought about it, did the referee, Hedda Auberg. And more importantly now is the safety or the concern. And well, let's have a look at it. It was just a play for the puck, but it looks like Adams takes a pretty good body check here. It's interference, it's boarding. What do you want to call it? Yeah, it's a clear penalty and not a, not a good penalty to take in the situation the Koreans are in right now, especially with the way GB have been playing on their power play. That is a, a, a poor uh, penalty to take, and GB are certainly going to take it, set up here on their power play again. They just scored on their power play just at the end of the second period. So a big opportunity for GB to possibly go ahead 2-0 here, Murph. Louise Adams is on the bench being looked at. No doubt the doctor, Marina Cittoni, will be on hand there. But certainly Louise Adams left under her own power. And you're right, a silly penalty from Hewan. And it will be a second power play. GB one for one. On the player advantage, they're five for nine in the tournament on the power play. Here's Whiteley. Whiteley sends it into the corner for Headland. Headland, time and space, waiting for everyone to get set now. She's got Hill on the right point. Bloom is on the left. And Stead and Stides to slide it along for Whiteley. And not a bad decision. Whiteley's been good on the puck throughout this competition. Whiteley. Katie Henry calling for it. Too far for Katie Henry. Down to a minute 15 remaining into the penalty of Kim Hewan. Here's Henry. Henry with the shot. Oh, what a stop. And it just rolls through in high. Who got just enough of it as it rolled tantalizingly slowly through the blue paint. Bloom will have to give chase. I thought Henry had the top corner there. And somehow or another, she just missed that. Jang in high made another good save. But there was a little bit of room up top, Murph. Trying to wheel it now as Trail. Trail leaves it behind for Adams. Adams tried to go into the top corner. And the good news is there is Adams showing no ill effects of that illegal hit from Hewan. Down to 40 seconds remaining. Beal. Beal's going to take a penalty now. There's a delayed penalty coming up on Beal. Here's Zheng Ha. Zheng Ha runs into Trail. And Che Lin will wheel back, dishing to Yun Ji. Out of the box is He Wan, touched up by Great Britain. It will be a third power play for Korea. And Beal will take the slow skate over to the GB penalty bench. Yeah, looked like a little bit of interference call there, or, or body check in one or the other. But uh, GB certainly couldn't get a lot of possession time on their power play. Uh, they were trying to uh, set something up, but the Koreans kept coming at him with two along the wall, pressuring him, pressuring him. 
so they struggled to really set up. They did have that one good scoring chance, and uh, but just 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 missed there. It was a good save. And excuse me, it's 24 seconds. He won. Looked like she was coming out of the box, but she's got 24 seconds remaining in her legal hit penalty. So it's four on four action. And as Beal will be the lone penalized player in about 10 seconds time. Here's Marsden. Marsden against So Jung. So Jung did enough to move it along to Yunji. Yunji sends a cross ice to Sho Hyung. Sho Young with a little drag move around Marsden back into the middle of the ice. He won is back out. So it's a five on four. Third power play of the game for So Jung and company. Here's He Won. Came out of the box and straight into the action. Losing a stick was Wakeling. Good job by Hill. Hill keeping everything to the outside against Jung Ha. Jung Ha back to the point to Chaelin. Chaelin at times has been the best player for Korea. Chaelin with a shot gloved away by Jackson. Tracking the puck very well. Right to left was Nicole Jackson. Marsden. Marsden trying to push that puck forward. Got it to Marsden. Marsden in a foot race now, but Chaelin is certainly one of the fastest players on the ice and gets back. 50 seconds remaining in Beal's penalty. Headland though, heart of a champion, not giving up on that play against Chaelin. And now GB, shorthanded chance as Gale wouldn't give up on the puck either. And Trail is pulled down. Trail is pulled down. Trail kept her feet moving. And well, the story to start the third period is penalty after penalty. Yeah, it's a big play though. And GB, you know, they still have uh, time left here on their on their penalty. So we'll go to four on four. A trip there, but like you said, just good hustle on the penalty kill, trying to trying to score one here. That's the trip right there, stick it to the feet, and down she goes. And uh, a, a, a good play overall from GB, just not allowing the Koreans to get out of their end all that easily, Murph. Well, that was all Headland. Headland looked like Chaelin was off to the races. Five on four, Headland, the lone four checker said, "No, you're not going to have an easy go." Gale came in and joined. The play, GB had the, the four on five scenario, but had the offensive zone time. Now they're in a four on four situation because of that good hustle. Park Shi Yun in the box for Korea. 20 seconds remaining, four on four, and then Beal will be back on the ice. And at that time, it'll be the third power play for Great Britain if you're scoring at home. Park Yi Yun. Yi Yun turned back by Rachel Cartwright. Yu Sho Young. Ji Yun, back to Sho Young. Cross ice to Jung Ha. Jung Ha trying to flip it deep. That didn't work out, and that's going to work out for GB as Beal is out of the box. So they're on the five on four. Oh, the pass just too far for Beal. Che Lin sends it D to D to Salin. Salin up the left side. Nobody home. Marsden will give chase now. Pass too far for here. Che Lin in behind, in high. They give it away to Adams. Adam has the power play goal in this game. Here's Hill. Hill just rolled off the toe of her blade. I think she was looking top corner. It just rolled on her on the last second. Here's Wakeling. Wakeling couldn't get the puck deep, finding a seam as Kim Salin up and down. Hill takes the puck from Nicole Jackson. Beth Hill has one power play goal in the competition. She sends it along to Beal. Beal with a cutback. Beal with some time and space. Beal with the shot blockered away by In High. The right idea by Beal, maybe just a tough angle. It'll be kept in by Marsden. Marsden slaps it in to Allen. The captain, Saffron Allen, goes to the front of the goal. Adams is in front as well. Here's Marsden with trail. She's got that big shot on the one-timer. Righty on the left side. We've seen her score a big bomb of a goal from there against Iceland. They will keep it in. Good pressure there from Adams. Here's Trail. Trail with the shot. And it will be stopped by In High as Ji Yun comes out of the box. So we're back to five on five action. And a good stop by Zhang In High. Yeah, good stop. And but, but they had the chance a few times the Koreans to clear it out and couldn't. GB every time was able to block the, the clear out uh, pass or shot down the ice and kept it in. And then they got a good scoring opportunity from Trail. So just good second effort from GB to keep those pucks in. Where Katie Henry off her skate trying to work it back, but jumping in her face was He Won, and now the speedster Ji Yun. Ji Yun is hit hard. Ji Yun turned back into the play, and Hutchinson, well, that's a hit from behind. Dangerous hit, and Pearson, well, Pearson, credit to Pearson, she gets right back up. My goodness, that was reckless, reckless play from Kim He Won. 
And well, the it was good news is Pearson's okay. Yeah, it was definitely retaliation because one of the Korean players got popped just over the blue line. So then there was the reaction down the corner to hit from behind. Not a smart penalty in a situation where you're down one nothing in a big game like this. But GB are going to take it and go on the power play. And this time they have their, their starting five that they normally have to start the power play. Adams wins the faceoff. Here's Beal. Allen's in front. Marsden. Morrison, well, everyone knows that Trail wants that puck. So Morrison slides it through. Allen with the chance. It's off the outside of the goal. Allen so close. Maybe an inch or two to making this 2 nothing. As Kim Hee-won is in the penalty box with that illegal hit. Pearson on the bench appears to be all right. That's the main concern, of course. Here's Allen. Certainly a goal here on the power play would certainly make Pearson feel a lot better as well. Adams. Trying to claw it along, but Beal will have to retreat back and is called off by Marsden. Trail against Chaylin. Trail trying to work it back. Chaylin sends it in behind the goal to Salin. That bounced off of Allen. And Marsden watches as Che Yojung finds a seam down the ice. We're down to 105 remaining in this fourth power play for Great Britain. Here's Marsden. Katie Henry. Henry against Yi Jun. Knocked off the puck momentarily. Whiteley came in to help out. Headland will have to retreat as we hit the seven minute mark or thereabouts of the third period. GB1 Korea, no score. Here's Hill. Hill sends it out wide. Whiteley. Whiteley still has 35 seconds to operate here on the power play. Hill comes in to help out. Whiteley trying to A frame over, to, over the puck to allow Hill to take possession. Hill not able to claw it out away from Sho Young. It finally breaks off the boards and Yo Jung will send it up and down. Hill, 20 seconds remaining on the power play. Hill turns up ice, sends it through the middle, gives it away to Sho Young. Headland wins the puck back. Dangerous play there against Kang Nara, but now Henry, Henry. Has the puck bobble up into her equipment, but keeps the cool head whitely. He won out of the box, so the power play is gone by the wayside. One for four for Great Britain. Here's Adams. Adams and GB are going to be penalized now, and it's Jody Bloom, and it's just been marching to the penalty box on both sides of the puck, and this is living fast and loose because eventually someone's going to get one. Yeah, Adams just stuck her knee out there and uh, off, off to the penalty box, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, a situation that where you're moving forward and, and the uh, the player is coming out the uh, the other way, you, you you have to do something. And I'm not sure if I got the penalty right there, Murph, but we'll see when no, we... Bloom for tripping, you're right, though. It was the knee, wasn't it? Yeah, the knee came out on Bloom stuck her knee. She was trying to keep the puck in, trying to slow the opposite number down, but uh, just uh, left her knee in there a little bit too long. Don't forget, these are the top two power play teams in the tournament, so you just can't keep going to the box like that. It is indeed Bloom. Shot block bravely by Marzen on the shot. The one-timer by Selin. Selin, the bottom of the circle, curls back, gives it to Ji Yun. Ji Yun back to Selin. Selin leading all defenders in scoring with four points. Yun Ji with the shot right on the button. Rebound there for Yi Yun. And Jackson handle that. Trying to sky that puck up and out. Adams, what an effort from Adams in this one. She's got the goal, but she's also been immense defensively. Lee Yun Ji, two goals and two assists for Korea. Needs to make a change and does so with 1.10 remaining on this fourth power play for Korea. Jung Ha down the right side. Yun Ha calling for it, but Jung Ha wants to go it alone. Goes around the goal. Watched closely by Beal. Back to Hee Won. Here is Che Lin. Che Lin with a shot. There's a rebound in front, but Jackson is seeing the puck like a beach ball right now, and Shi Hun couldn't corral it. Good work in the goal again from Jackson. Beal couldn't get the puck in deep. That's off the shin pad of Che Lin. Hedlund was chasing it down, but sent back up ice by He Wan. He Wan to Zheng Ha. Attacking the line with speed, but Beal is perfectly placed again. Saffron Allen can't get the puck out. He Wan into the corner. Yun Ha back to He Wan. 20 seconds remaining in Bloom's tripping penalty. Che Lin with a shot, redirected by Yun Ha. Into the right of Jackson and Y. Che Lin with a good keep at the left point. Down to 10 seconds remaining in the power play. He won. 
the intended recipient of that pass. It was too far, but Hewan will take it off the boards. Long range shot. It's in the skates of Beal, and Beal will find to see him get it up and down. Bloom is out of the box. Another good penalty kill from Great Britain. Gale and Bloom causing problems. Well, there was too many players on the ice for Korea. And they just got the change in, I guess. Hedlund getting in the way. Here's Gale. Gale picks up the puck. Skating through the neutral zone. Got hooked from behind there, but it's an offside call. Well, GB1 Korea, no score. We're going to take a quick break on free sports. Join us in 45 seconds time. Adams wins the faceoff to Allen. Marsden down the left side, throws it in front. Allen didn't know where it was or she might have got a stick on that, but Marsden dangerous on every shift in this game, especially from period two onwards. Marsden lost the puck there though to Ji Yun. Ji Yun swings out wide on Adams. Adams waving at it. Ji Yun goes around the goal. Back to the point to Sho Hyung. Sho Hyung right away met by Marsden. Well, Paul Lady, is there a a Robert Farmer moment or a Ben Davies moment. Is there an iconic GV moment in this one? This has been a brave, brave battling performance. It's been a great tournament for GB, but they need another goal if they have hopes of keeping their Beijing dreams alive in November. Marsden out into the neutral zone. That's going to come back. Well, think about that France game, for example, in Kosice. France led that game about halfway through 3-0. And GB came storming back for the impossible to win in overtime and stay in the top pool. Yeah, even a bit later than that because it was well into the second period when they got their first goal and then they never looked back after that. That was a, <laughs> an incredible game. And, and hopefully we'll see another one of these big goals in this one, Murph. It's got a bit of that feel about it. Tension, certainly. But a chance for the Lionesses' roar to be heard. Hopefully you're enjoying this on Free Sports. Good crowd on hand as well. The support has been immense. Here's Ji Yun, wheeling back in offside. 8.48 remaining. Don't forget the Premier Sports Elite League coverage continues on our sister channel, Premier Sports Sunday, October 17th. Coventry Blaze versus the Belfast Giants. And the NHL season gets underway late night Tuesday, October 12th. Pittsburgh at Tampa Bay, 12.30 a.m. Premier Sports 1. And we'll have the first ever Seattle Kraken game. They will be in Vegas, 3 a.m. Premier Sports 2. Shot from Hiwan right into the chest of Jackson. Check premiersports.com for all Premier Sports Elite League and NHL listings. Can't wait for the NHL to get started. Can't wait to see how this one pans out. 8.36 remaining. Jackson with another big stop, but she has been immense. Yeah, a bit of a late change uh, again. Actually, Jackson's been excellent. You're right, Murph. But another little bit of a late change here for the Koreans. I don't know how long the referee can continue to allow them to change late like that. Could be a factor. If they keep trying to bend the rules, it could be a power play to GB in an opportune time. Here's Pearson. The great news is Pearson took that hit from He Won, and Pearson is back out here battling. And Pearson. Pearson lucky not to get a tripping penalty there. Zhang Ha went down. Hutchinson up the middle. Just behind for Gale. Gale will track back. Gale slots it into the corner and will chase. Getting there first is Sho Young. Lee Yunji up the middle. Yu Zhang turned back by that poke check of Bloom. Here's Adams, the lone goal on the board in this one. Louise Adams, a power play tally with one minute remaining in the second. Marsden, or Bloom rather, sidestepped by Yun Ji. Yun Ji loses her footing again, maybe a possible call there, but the referee is letting them play right now. Hannah Hauberg wants nothing to do with de determining this game. We had a sequence of penalty after penalty about halfway through the period, but right now, good tempo. Beal goes up trying to find that puck. Yi Yun 
will back up and slide it along to Sho Young. Sho Young up the wing. Ji Yun outworked by Marsden. Marsden's got three assists in the tournament, but there's no one that deserves a big goal more than Marsden for her work rate. We'll keep an eye on 14. Here's Bloom. Bloom as well. Having the tournament of her life. Bloom got tangled up there. Allen back to Bloom. Bloom slides it across. Dangerous pass into the feet of Mars, and you've got to avoid those cross the blue line passes at this stage. No, you're absolutely right. The middle's not open right now. The Koreans are taking the middle away. They're going to have to go wide with it, GB. Right there, it's the first time, but right, someone's standing right up there. So this is where they're closing the gap down quickly in the middle. They're going to have to move the puck a bit wider. Here comes Beal. Beal. Beal needs to probably put that puck in the corner maybe and dump and chase trying to shoot through. Three blue jerseys wasn't going to work. Here's Shamney Jackson. Shamney Jackson has to be careful there. And she ran into He Won. The last thing you want right now if you're GB is another penalty kill. Beal. Beal took a slash. Slides it past Che Lin. Too far for Shamney Jackson. Yunji, Lee Yunji. Nice little move by Yunji. Yunji slides it in just wide of the goalie stick of Jackson into the corner. Sho Yun backing up, sends it high off the chest of Beal. Beal now, right up the gut. Beal, long range shot. That's not going to trouble in high. You've got to drive to the net right there, and you had Shamney Jackson as an option. Shamney Jackson plays it along. Too far for Henry. Picked up by Che Yu Jung, wheeling through the neutral zone, goes away from Harris. Harris got just enough to try and send her to the, the boards there. Wakeling, Wakeling, good pressure from Korea right now. Yeah, they're not sitting back. They're keeping a third forward high, but the other two forwards are being aggressive. They're not allowing GB to, to get puck control and to come at them with speed. 5.30 remaining. There needs to be someone step up here in the GB crest. Hill. We'll backtrack. Icing call with exactly 5.20 remaining. They need two, Paul. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if you're a GB right now, you want to set up a, a face-off here and try to create a scoring opportunity off the face-off. Shots on goal, 21-21. GB out shooting Korea 5-4 in the third period. Headland. Will dig in a second time against Park Sung Ha. To the right of uh, Zhang in high. Face off win. Trail. Pinches in. Trail. Poke check by Zhang Ha. Trail though. Just keeps on controlling that puck with her skate. Now gets the stick in there, slides it along. Gale. Trying to work it back to Trail as Trail felt like she had some room there. Instead, though, it's Yo Jung controlling that. And out wide now is Yun Ji, the speedster, righty on the left side. Tried to come back into the middle of the ice. Good stick by Headland. But Yu Jung, Yu Jung out high. Flips it over the blocker of Jackson and Y. Kept in by Yi Jun. Backtracked in by Zhang Ha. Here's Li Yun Ji. Li Yun Ji in deep for Song Yun Ha. And this is fine if you're Korea. They're under no obligation to entertain the crowd. If they lose here one nothing, they advance. So this is a team that's pressing forward and just trying to wear down Great Britain a little bit here. Here's Cartwright. Too far for Gale or she would have had some room to skate onto that. Here is Yi Yun. Yun Ha. Yun Ha with a nice little drag move away from Adams, away from Pearson now. And getting in the way there at the last second was Hutchinson to deflect that shot from Yi Yun into the corner. Hutchinson. Comes in on Yun Ha. Yun Ha's down, trying to glove it along. Hutchinson says, thank you very much. And we'll drop it into the corner for Pearson. Dangerous play there as Pearson was actually marked. And now Che Lin down to 345 remaining in the third period. Che Lin up the left side. Adams, if you're just tuning in, Louise Adams with one minute left in the second period. A power play goal from Katie Marsden. Giving us that one nothing scoreline with three and a half remaining. Adams trying to go coast to coast. Adams is hit hard there. Pearson comes cruising in, and Adams looks like she took a bit of a Charlie horse there, a knee into the thigh. And Adams is struggling to get to the bench. That's not good news. She has been excellent. Maybe the best player for Great Britain in this one. Pearson gets in the way. We're trying to skate away there. Confidently was He Won, but He Won had the play broken up instantly, and now the puck is ahead to Marsden. Marsden with a shot. 
Allen arrives, but good rebound control from Zhang in high. Uh, good play from Mars. And nice little move at the blue line, too. I thought she was going to dump it in, but then she just kind of stutter step. Well, I sorry, Murph, I, you were making a signal to me. I, I think you were showing me the, the, the timeout. <laughs> Good yeah. call from you spotting that. <laughs> I was still thinking about the Mars and how she, how she froze <laughs> Sorry, at the blue line. I quite, I quite liked her the way she did that. And then she got a big shot to that. Unfortunately, no traffic in front of the net. But you're absolutely right. Timeout called here with three minutes to go in the third period. It feels like it's coming, though, for Mars. And you're absolutely right. I mean, she does all the little things well. And she's looking either for a face-off deep or a rebound from Allen. I don't think she, they think they're going to score from out there. But you have to give Zhang and Hai a lot of credit. Playing beyond her 16 years, she looks like a seasoned veteran. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, she's uh, she's played really, really well. I mean, this is a big pressure game, too, to be that young in a big game like this and play that well. I mean, that's a, that's a, a good sign, a good future uh, player for you uh, going forward if you're Korea. And, uh, but let's not forget how, how good uh, Nicole Jackson's been in this one. She's been doing a great job keeping this at uh, zero goals against and if GB can find another one here with three minutes to go they can walk into the next round Murph face off to the right of Zhang in high good news is Adams who looked like she suffered a bit of a Charlie horse there takes the face off so showing no ill effects bad news is she doesn't win the draw here's Yu Zheng good block there well Beal knew that Lee Yun Ji was all alone in front took away the passing lane and now Beal to Adams, Adams up the right side, 240 remaining. I guess the other thing is, when do they get Nicole Jackson out if it remains one nothing? Well, two I and think, a half remaining. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. I think it'll be two minutes and under. Murph will probably be a good time to go. You want to have puck possession in the, in the offensive zone, but uh, good little move here coming through the middle. Here's Adams, back to Morriston. Bloom, Bloom with the shot, redirected in front. Well, Saffron Allen with the net front presence, but in high, got the pad across. Yeah, another good save, but I like Bloom. She just got the puck to the net quickly. I like this play, too, up to Marsden quickly, Murph. Marsden slides it through well. It was too far for Hedlund, and she might have been all alone. Here's Gale. Gale, back to the point. Beal, Beal with his shot, trying to redirect. That was Hedlund, two minutes remaining. Jackson remains in the goal. GB need two to advance. Here's Marsden. Marsden with some time and space, too far for Hedlund, or she was in the perfect spot. Here's Beal. Beal against Ji Yun. Ji Yun just outweights her. Good stop by Jackson. Well, there's a chance out front. Oh, what a stop by Jackson as she stops Yun Ha. Well, it's do or die time now for GB, and Nicole Jackson keeps them firmly in this game. We're down to a minute 30 remaining. I cannot believe that stop by Nicole Jackson on Song Yun Ha. GB now to need to refocus. We're down to 125 remaining. They need a goal to get through to the final qualifiers. Delayed offside against Korea, so a free play for Beal. Keeping an eye on Nicole Jackson. Beal doesn't get the puck in deep. Beal waiting for reinforcements. Beal has it in her feet, as does Henry. Here comes Henry. It's swooped away from her. Jackson wanted to sprint to the bench. Bloom backtracks. One minute remaining. It's now or never, GB. Here's Adams, just slides it slowly in, and Chaylin says, thank you very much. Allen couldn't control it. Here's Beal. Beal trying to walk across the line. Dangerous pass. Katie Henry kept her head, and Henry keeps the puck down to 40 seconds remaining. Penalty coming up against Yun Ji. Well, now it's a six on four if they decide to get Jackson out, and they really have to. Fifth power play coming up for Great Britain. Yeah, I mean, Jackson, of course, is going to come out now, Murphy. Absolutely right. They got a power play here for 40.7 seconds. And this could be a big moment, obviously, a big moment in the game, a six on four. And uh, we know how good GB's power play has been with the extra, extra player out there. It will make it even better, get a little bit more traffic in front, which will make it tough on Korea. 40.7 seconds remaining. Lee Yun Ji in the box. Nicole Jackson, I can tell you, has gone and joined Ella Howard on the bench. So they will go six on four, as you'd expect. Mike Clancy and company are all in. What an opportunity. They need someone to step up here and be the hero. Do we have another iconic moment ahead on free sports? Buckle up, folks. Adams, who has the lone goal in this one, will dig in against Jung Ha. Saffron Allen on the left wing. Hedlund lined up at the top of the circle. 
They can't get the draw though, but Beal will keep it in. Beal trying to slap it through. Beal sends it across to Marsden. Marsden with the shot, redirected in front. Allen took away the eyes of in high, and Beal crashes in to her man, sent up and down by Salin. And because they're on the penalty kill, they can ice the puck all they want. We're down to 18 seconds remaining. 18 seconds now. Here's Headland. Headland couldn't get the shot through. Marsden. Marsden out wide. She's got a little bit of space out front, couldn't get it to Headland. Seven seconds remaining. Back to the point. Here's Adams. It's got to be a special shot now, but it's blocked by Yun Ji. Oh no, heartbreak. Heartbreak for Great Britain. So close, yet so far.